Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? We're going to dig in the battle box here, get out a little tool, and show you guys another trick. If you guys haven't seen the battle box video, definitely check it out, I'll link it down below. I've gotten a bunch of new subscribers here lately. You guys are awesome, really appreciate the support. You know, we're trying to blow the channel up, hit 50,000 for the end of the year. With your guys' help, we can definitely do this. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep leaving comments, keep supporting the channel. Again, you guys are awesome. But uh, I do have a video on this that I shot, I think a year or two ago, which again, I'll link down below. It could be a little more in depth. But um, I made a video about the trailer hook, about using the hook all for the trailer hook, which you guys can see the red disc there on my spinnerbait. That's the Advantage spinnerbait. And again, I'll go ahead and link that video down below. But since a lot of you guys had said in the comments that you've never seen anything like that before, I'm just assuming you've never seen my other video as well on how to get more out of your soft plastic. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I keep my soft plastics up on my hook. All right, we have my swim bait set up here. Guys, that's the new Akuma TCS. Man, I'm just digging it, I love these rods. Guys, definitely check them out. All right, before I show you guys how the hook all comes into play, we're going to rig it up normal here. Five out Mustad hook, eighth ounce weight, screw keeper, 4.75 XL swim. Guys, be sure to check out biospawn.com. The new XL ribbon was just released here recently. I'll link it down below. Use code TJ81 to get 20% off. Definitely check that out, or you guys can head over to Carl's as well. Okay. Use your thumb here, make sure it's nice and straight. Go in, come out, and the hook will lay flat on the back. Majority of your baits these days have a hook slot. That's what that's for. Again, you don't have to bury the hook point. It's nice and weedless, and you're good to go. But after a couple of fish, that hole is going to become loose, and your bait's going to slide down. So it's going to be coming in the water like that. You could be getting snagged up and stuff like that. So you'll need to bury the hook point in the plastic. Just move the plastic forward there, kind of bury the hook in the plastic, you're weedless again, but again, after a couple of fish, you're going to rip a hole in the plastic there. Again, it's going to come in like this, and you're going to get snagged up, so it's time for a new bait. Okay, with the hook all, what you'll do, before you bring your hook point back into the plastic, okay, if you're using like a Texas rig hook, EWG, round bent offset, something like that, you go in the head like you normally would. In this case, we have a screw keeper, but you'd go in the head like you normally would with a regular hook, but before you bring the hook point back into the plastic, you get your hook all, okay, We've got white discs loaded up here. Get your hook point, go in the center of one of the discs, like so. Okay, pop it out. Slide that up the hook a little bit. Rig it up again, like so. Nice and straight. Now you can slide that, that disc right below the bait, and that'll keep that bait from sliding down. Again, you'll get more fish out of one soft plastic because it won't be getting tore up. Guys, definitely check them out. The month of September, the Rapid Fishing site's got a little promotion going on that kind of teamed up with Striking. If you order a minimum of three items from the Rapid site, you'll get an additional Striking lure for free. So definitely check that out, guys. I'll link it down below. But that's how you can save a few extra bucks with the rapid fishing hook all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you guys on the next one.